Welcome back to Electro Study YouTube channel. In this session, I'm going to discuss most important latest technical seminar topic, which can be useful for electrical as well as EMC students. Moving on to the discussion, before explaining the topic, I would like to inform you that all the paper contents are available in the description box. You can go through the description box first and later you can uh, identify the paper and uh, you can move on. At the meantime, let me guide you how to write the report, all those things, and what are the contents you are supposed to collect. Also, all the topics are related to solar photovoltaic application. Fine? Yes. The first topic which I would like to suggest to you is, number one, design and development of solar tree. First of all, you should understand what do you mean by solar tree. As you can observe, there is a typical representation of solar tree. See, it is basically the arrangement of solar module in the fashion of tree such that you can able to produce the maximum amount of power. So there are different configurations available. Either you can go for series connection, series parallel connection, parallel connection, etc. So kindly go through the details. Which configuration would you like to go ahead? So before that, you have to identify that what is the configuration which will be helpful for you. Fine. So afterwards, for example, in order to get one kilowatts, how many pan, how many modules required? All right. And what is the inclination angle? Okay. So those things you can mention. Also, the case study, you have to offer different type of case studies. And uh, I have already suggested one paper in the description box. Okay. Kindly go to the description box first and go through the download the paper. If you could not download the paper, do let me know. You can put up a message in the comment box. Definitely, I will revert back. Fine. So this topic is uh, really useful. Especially if you go to European countries, you can see this kind of arrangement. So main advantages of solar trees, the best utilization of space. Fine. Yeah. Now I would like to suggest you another topic. Very, very important in the field of SPV. Detection and assessment of partial shading in polar, solar photovoltaic arrays. First of all, you have to understand that what is a partial shading. Can you see the diagram here? Please have a look on this. Can you observe the diagram? Yeah. The thing is, we have a, a solar panel which is which is uh, arranged at a certain angle based on the azimuth angle. You must have known what is azimuth angle. Fine. So you have to see the angle of inclination. At the meantime, you can see one more point. Uh, observe very carefully. There is a stand. Because of uh, the arrangement of the stand, uh, it causes shading here. There is a shading effect. Fine. Definitely the shading effect impacted the performance of solar panel. Okay. So what you're supposed to do is you need to understand what is a partial shading. How the partial shading impacting on the performance of solar panel. Have a detailed study. If you want, you can set up a hardware as well. So first you consider the solar panel and you have to keep the solar panel perpendicular to the sunrise. Afterwards, you can keep some kind of shade like a 10 percent shading, 20 percent shading, 30 percent shading. Like that, you can put a create a shade. Then you can check the output. It is a good, very good experimental result. If you want, you can prepare the paper also. Fine. Uh, definitely that will carry more weightage. So you'll be getting, there are so many papers. For your reference, I have put up one uh, good paper, a Science Direct public, publisher. So you can go through that particular paper and grab the information. Any confusion, you can put up in the comment box. Uh, I'm, I'm here to help you out. All right. So you have to study what is partial shading and uh, what are the different type of partial shading, for example, building because of building and because of uh, this kind of stand. You can see the different type of stands available there. Also because of tree. Okay. Uh, there are different reasons uh, uh that uh, birds which is flying over the panel because some if you if you inspect some kind of solar uh, array uh because it's just like a field suppose any birds or any other uh, uh any birds or something something is flying over that particular panel it causes partial shading so what is the impact of partial shading then you have to speak about hot spot many terminologies are there can you go through the paper definitely you will understand because you will only will be uh, going to present the seminar topic. Topic. It is better to understand uh, the basics of partial shading. Fine. If you require any other papers, uh, you can uh, put up in the comment box. I am here to help you out. Moving on to the third topic, that is also really interesting, quite interesting. Comparative analysis of PV cell material. There are different type of PV cell material. You know, it is a semiconductor material. The PV cells can be made up of like uh, so the same silicon type material. There are different combinations like monocrystalline type material, 
polycrystalline type material. Similarly, multicrystalline type material, thin film type material. There are many more varieties. Okay. So you should have a detailed study about different type of materials. You can compare with the cost, efficiency, and other type of parameters. Fine. Uh, cost to weight ratio, everything you can consider. And uh, uh, this is actually one of the useful topic. If you want, you can create the review paper also based on this. There are a lot of review papers. Uh, I shared one paper in the description box. Kindly go through that particular paper and uh, grab the information. Prepare a comparative details, comparative study. Finally, you only have to make the conclusion. That conclusion has more weightage because you are only understanding the entire details, studying different type of uh, uh, solar uh, solar panel material like monocrystalline, polycrystalline, multicrystalline, etc. Finally, you are only making an inference. That inference has more weightage. That only you can make a conclusion. All right. Collect the latest reference. I already mentioned one paper. So another important uh, concept, maximum PowerPoint tracking. So you should have studied about what is maximum PowerPoint tracking. Uh, the, it is a technique to operate the PV panel at its maximum efficiency. It works based on the principle of maximum power transfer theorem, which you already studied in the network analysis. Fine. So it is very simple. You are using one algorithm such that source impedance and load impedance are getting matched. That's a, a concept. If the load impedance equal to source impedance, what is the impact? The maximum power flow takes place from uh, source to load. Okay. Source impedance and load impedance is getting matched by using a particular algorithm. As you can observe, uh, we have a solar panel. Uh, then we have a load. Uh, what is our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal is to transfer the maximum power from uh, the source to load. Uh, all, all right. So in uh, for that purpose, what you are supposed to do, you are actually using a power electronic interface. This is called a power electronic interface. In that, you can see the DC-DC converter as well as an MPPT controller. So MPPT controller, it uh, sends the voltage and current from the panel and uh, there is a separate algorithm based on the algorithm. It uh, generates a suitable pulse width modulation, PWM, that will be given to the switch of the DC-DC converter such that the switching operation takes place. Uh, based on the switching operation, the maximum power is transferred from solar panel to load. So uh, this, this is actually the uh, paper you can refer. So they have given in a very simple language. You can go through that. It is a very uh, useful paper. Okay. If you are writing any kind of uh, paper, you can cite this particular paper in that uh, particular research article. So definitely, uh, they have written very simple language. Comparative analysis of conventional and artificial intelligence-based MPPT uh, algorithm for soda type application. The same thing, only you can go for the seminar presentation because every all the contents are... Uh, mentioned over there. So first you have to explain what is MPPT, how MPPT algorithms are classified. One is conventional type MPPT, another one is artificial intelligence based MPPT. Conventional MPPT algorithms are divided into different varieties like uh, uh, P and O MPPT algorithm, incremental conductance MPPT algorithm, constant voltage type MPPT algorithm, then fractional short circuit current MPPT algorithm, hill climbing algorithm. Likewise, you have to have a detailed flowchart. If I talk about the artificial intelligence based MPPT algorithm, you have to mention about AN network, artificial neural network. The, uh, uh, also, uh, one more type of algorithm is called the fuzzy logic based MPPT algorithm. So, please uh, have a detailed analysis about this particular uh, topic based on the reference paper. Kindly refer description box. So, it's a quite interesting topic because most of the researchers are working in this area. Okay, more research is happening. So, it's a uh, it is having a wide scope. So moving on to the topic five, that is also related to another varieties of MPPT algorithm. That is a bio-inspired MPPT algorithm, meta-historic algorithm. It is also known as meta-historic algorithm. Okay, based on the uh, pattern which is observed in the nature, like uh, honeybee, then you can see the movement of ant. Okay, then swam, the, uh, particle swam. Fine. Uh, likewise, there are different type of gray wolf. There are different varieties of uh, algorithms are available. So it is quite interesting. Uh, if you are interested, you can do so many research based on this particular topic. I have uh, given one reference paper. You can go through the reference paper once and you can produce, uh, you can grab so many information from that particular article. So here, what you're supposed to do is, first of all, you have to mention what is MPPT algorithm, how the MPPT algorithms are classified. In that, you have to mention about what is bio-inspired MPPT algorithm, how the bio-inspired MPPT algorithms are divided. For example, 
PS algorithm, particle swarm optimization algorithm, ant colony algorithm, ACO. Okay. Similarly, uh, firefly algorithm. There are var many varieties available. So definitely you feel interesting because uh, it is uh, similar to what is happening in the nature. Based on that, uh, they have developed the algorithm. So it's more most convenient and uh, uh, the students can easily understand the topic as well. Uh, so uh, for uh, it's applicable to all the branches of engineering. Even computer science students can develop the program. Fine, if they are interested to develop the program. Even electronic students can do the uh, microcontroller interfacing. So there are a lot of uh, varieties of scope for this particular topic. So these are the few topics which I would like to uh, mention you for your semi technical seminar preparation. Kindly collect the, kindly download the paper first, which I mentioned in the description box. Later you can start preparing. While preparing, if you have any doubts, kindly put up in the comment box. I'm here to help you out. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. So let me come up with uh, similar kind of topics in the forthcoming session. Have a great day. Thank you. Happy learning.